In Puerto Rico, scientists gather data on tropical diseases. In Germany, on epidemic jaundice. In remote Madagascar, our scientists are working with the French on bubonic plague. The Army's Medical Research Center in Washington directs this far-flung battle against disease. Here, men have pioneered in the conquest of the Earth's unseen killers in measures to prevent infection, in the development of the life-saving vaccines and serums, of antibiotics like penicillin, streptomycin, and chloromycetin, of other drugs like primaquine, the new cure for malaria, that have helped to reduce the death rate from disease in the U.S. Army to barely one in 2,000 each year. In other research projects, the Army Medical Service has developed new surgical techniques and devices. At Fort Knox, Kentucky, laboratory tests are being made in an effort to overcome the hazards of climate. Medical research workers are learning what a soldier's body needs to survive and function in extreme cold or in extreme heat. The Army Medical Service is at work on measures to protect the American soldier against the hazards of an atomic war. Since its beginning in 1775, the Army Medical Service has constantly raised standards of health and medical care among American troops. The Army Medical Service pioneered the development of the modern cubicle plan hospital. It brought fresh air into it. It devised ways to purify our drinking water, to guard against food contamination. It introduced techniques for the control of insects and other disease carriers. It pioneered in the knowledge of countless contagious diseases. The Medical Service, a recognized body of trained technicians from the company aid man in the field to the research scientist in the laboratory, is dedicated to the welfare of the American soldier. That's your Army Medical Corps, an indispensable part of our fighting team. Next week on The Big Picture, we'll show you how the Army is concerned with the soldier's spiritual welfare as well as his physical welfare. We'd like to tell you about our chaplains. This is Captain Carl Zimmerman inviting you to be with us then.